He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim, playing on legendary difficulty as a pure wood elf using only the six wood elf skills, which are archery, light armor, sneak, lock picking, pickpocket, and alchemy. And it is time to go get the ancient shrouded armor. That's next on the agenda. That's next on the menu right here. Miscellaneous. Locate the assassin of old. Mr. Map, where is this? Mr. Map says it is at Deepwood Redoubt. We got to go all the way out there. But before we go out there, it would be wise to make up a big batch of invisibility potions. We have already discovered Serethi Farm, which is just east of Iverston. Let's go there now. Serethi Farm has a big batch of Nernrit. They farm Nernrit. It's a unique location in Skyrim. I don't know how these people sleep at night, but uh, yeah. <laughs> they got a big patch of nerd root here. Let's just uh, farm it all up there. They're all like, wow, shit. Is that all you have to do? <laughs> and um, go to the homestead, make up a batch of invisibility potions. And yet another thief. You know how many thieves I've uh, encountered here in practice, friends? It's, it's crazy. Every time I come here, there's a thief. It's, it's come to the point where you don't bother like trying to do business in Riften anymore because there's going to be a thief. And then they all they all take like, you know, forever and a day to kill one thief. Like 15 people on one thief. And it takes them like two minutes to kill them. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Okay, so here we go. Our new... Let me just take off all this gear here. I just find it a lot easier to stay organized. Okay, new alchemy gear would be... Croesus, of course. Muri's ring. Necklace of Peerless Alchemy. And Scaled Bracers of Alchemy. Double check to make sure that we have Fortify Alchemy times 4, 2, 3, 4. Done. Quick save before every major crafting session. Did I take out the... Ash Creek Pluster? Yes, I did, but I forgot. I... I think I have one ice ray teeth that'll do, and I'm pretty sure I have a vampire dust. That'd be perfect. Okay, Ash Creek Pluster and Nern Root makes invisibility potion. One minute and 45 seconds. That's almost two minutes. That's cool. And Ash Creek Pluster and Ice Reed Teeth makes the same thing. Ash Creek Pluster and Vampire Dust makes the same thing. Okay, so we have invisibility up the wazoo. Let's hotkey that right away. I think I have some books here weighing me down. What's going on here? Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, combat gear on. Something is missing. This guy right here. Okay, I always check. It's 116. That's good. I think I'm going to leave my elemental bolts behind because it can't, the game keeps confusing, getting confused and wanting to use these when I don't really want to use them. So you guys are staying behind. So that's all you've got to choose from, game. Okay, so stop using up my elemental bolts when I don't want you to. And. Let's hotkey the ebony bow. You are number three. Steel bolts, let's make you guys number eight. 
That works. Let's do it to it. Okay, deep with redoubt. Let's go to Dragon Bridge, right on out there. We're going to be dealing with Forsworn and Hags and Witches. Oh my. <laughs> Calm down there, Frost, and let's wait till morning. To get to Deep Root Redoubt from Dragon Bridge is actually quite easy. Go due west. Cut across the river. Gallop due west through here. Past the wolves. Past the bear, past the stone runes, past the little bear cave there, or wolf cave, whatever. Once you get to this point, you're going to turn around to the north. You're going to find this little ravine going up here. Beautiful little ravine going due north. It rides straight up to that tree there. Once you get to the tree, turn to the left, cut across this snowy path here. Once you get to about this point, turn back north. You see that little space there? Right due north up there. And you're going to find a little space to go here. And go down the other side. And right about here, there's always uh, there's a wolf right there. Yeah. Tell your friends. Do you have any friends? You don't. Okay. Now, outdoors is like two or three force war in here. It's pretty hard to sneak around. Let's just take an invisibility potion and sneak in. This is the beginning of Deepwood Redoubt. Those two stone pillars on either side of that path. There's a force war right there. Sneaky, sneaky. Up here. And there's always one right beside the door. Just sneak, uh, squeeze by on the left side. Like that. And we're in. Do a chicken chick quick save. Can't do my chicken anymore. There we go. There's a good one. <laughs> Gotta work on my chicken. Okay, some of these four sworn you can one shot with a crossbow, some need a little extra sauce, and I just went through a trap. Watch out for the trap, yeah. <laughs> As you can see my uh Savior's hide with fifty percent poison resistance, plus I believe uh, the wood elf has poison resistance. No, he has resist disease. No. Also resist poison. Yeah, so poison. Pfft, yeah. All right, so let's use Aura Whisper, see where everybody is. Should be able to one shot these guys. A little bit of extra sauce. May not be necessary for the extra sauce, but. Um, Let's let that guy calm down there. I wonder if you can get him. No. Okay, and my Fortify Archery is still in effect. Let's see if we can get this one right here. Okay, I'm busted. It's time for... Down he goes. Where the heck is he? Oh, he died. Okay, there we go. I don't really want to stuff. I just want to make sure. See if I can get my my steel bolt back. Can I wait? No, I can't. Um, can I rush through here without? There's, usually, there's pendulums and stuff here. Let's see if I can just go. Good. Okay. 
made it through. And now I can wait. Let's recover health. This is a master lock door. There's a key in that room. Just just inside the door to your left, there's also a key on the person in there sleeping in the bed. Um, they're going to require some extra sauce too. Got to watch out for these. Uh, they look like shock runes. Yeah, they'll do a number on you. There's a bone trap here, which will alert the sleeping Forsworn. I figured out how to get through it. Hey, just tuck yourself straight in this corner here. Let's see if this works. Okay, just tuck yourself straight in the corner there. And then you're looking for that. See that little bit of a brick wall way off in the distance there? Aim your, your cross here right at that and go straight through. See, you get through quietly. <laughs> you're rolling with the slacks there now. <clears throat> Pardon me. And there's the key. If you don't want to kill that guy, that's how you get the key. But we can easily kill her. Um, do I have... Oh, it's already poisoned, so we should be able to paralyze her easily enough. There we go. And how about some extra sauce on this guy? And she'll be able to finish her out before she wakes up. And that's it. Then she also has a key. Steel bolt back. Den and den. Watch out for the frost runes. And that'll open that door. These guys, um, let me just poison this ebony bow up with some paralysis just to uh, be safe, be on the safe side. These couple of force weren't up ahead. I'm pretty sure we could take them down just with a crossbow without even using any fortify marksman potions. I think we're pretty weak. Let's do a quick save here. Yep, just regular. No problem. And finally, there's a Forsworn Pillager, or your mileage may vary, but it's a high level Forsworn that's going to need some extra sauce, including some paralysis. So let's sneak right up on him. He's sitting in a chair, you want to aim on the, the right side of the chair, because otherwise you'll miss. Like right about there. And I missed. What was that? Here, got him. Yeah, 540 make twist, eh? <laughs> and. You get some extra sauce because you got a lot of health. And that's the end of you. Wait a minute, I want my steel bolt back. Give me that. That's it. So we made it to Deep Wood Vale. The Mad Men of the Reach. I think I'll take this for my library. Get the sneak mode and out the door we go. Quick save, and we're just gonna sneak through Deepwood Vale using an invisibility potion to hit the whole way. You could sneak or run, but don't sprint. Uh, invisibility. You may attract a little bit of attention running. As long as you're careful. Don't bump into anybody so you're attracting a little bit of attention. Up the stairs here. Avoid everybody. Don't bump into anybody. You should be fine. Find the stairs sloping up here. Find these stairs here. Look around here. And we have discovered Hag's End. Go into sneak mode, and in we go. Definitely quick save here, because these guys are highly unpredictable. The witches you should be able to one shot. The hag is going to take damage and then disappear and displace. 
that's the way it works. Let's just open the door. There's a warlock there. I think we can one shot him. Yep, that's no problem. Let's just tuck ourselves in here and wait and see what happens. I think he is a whisper to see where they're at. Okay, one guy's over there. there go, very good. One's in there. Okay, wait for it. Okay, let's see how he is. There's one guy right there. Okay. That's the hag. She's going to require some extra sauce. And that should make her disappear. And then she displaces. Let's make sure this room off to the left is clear. It's clear. All right. Very good. Bass. Nobody here. Watch out for the trap. This guy's in there. Okay, let's go open the door and then back off. back here Bass. so there's the hag again let's take some extra sauce and make her disappear there she disappeared get ready for others to come out she be able to one shot him watch out for another one coming up the stairs here take it by surprise watch it watch it watch it watch it here she comes Here we go. Okay, it took a little bit of heat there. <laughs> but we're good. Seems like there's one more over there. Okay, that's okay. She's not in this room. Let's just wait till we're back in sneak mode. And you can hear the chanting of a word wall. That's the slow time shout. I typically don't use that with a stealth archer. I don't like the way it um, screws up my timing. So I'm not going to go for it. The ancient shrouded armor set is behind a secret wall right here, which you open up by hitting this switch right here. And we have located the Assassin of Old. There he is. And there is the entire ancient shrouded armor set. Let's grab it all. And this represents, if we put it all on, this actually represents a huge boost in our armor rating. And if we put the, uh, I was surprised actually how close we could get to the armor cap with this. That's including the necklace of eminent squares so to put that on for at 496. So yeah, and the armor cap is 567, so that's not bad actually. Closer than I thought we'd get. That's it, mission accomplished. Not going to do anything else, let's just get out of here. Okay, you gotta watch out for that. All we're going to do is sneak out of Hag's End, turn to the right, double back up the hill, which will put us far enough away from the enemies that we can fast travel. Okay, over here. Up here, and this should put us far enough away. If you go further up there, there's the Predator's Grace boots, 
uh, which give you 100% muffled. That's that's completely redundant because we have we're already 100% muffled in a number of ways. For example, the ancient shrouded boots I believe is 100% muffle. Anyways, we won't we don't need them. So let's just get out of here. Mission accomplished. Let's go back to the homestead. Have the celebratory bottle of Nord mead. Or whatever Wood Elves drink. I don't know. <laughs> Call it a day. What do you need, my thing? Done and done. There you go. The ancient shrouded armor. Actually, we could sell off the other armor now. We don't need it anymore. Let's do that. I've been looking for you. You Got pesky couriers. To deliver. Your okay, what do you want? Me. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like okay. that's it. Got to go. Friend of ours sent us a letter. Oh, Dipper Kama, you caused a bit of a stir and deep with redoubt when you demonstrated the power of the thumb. Not everyone is anxious for the return of Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talent. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to anger and understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Signed, sincerely, a friend. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, I'll table that for a later date. Working at the Rift and You've been awesome. Just what you see here. Okay, so all this is redundant. Cool. That's a new new gear. You sell that. And we don't need this anymore either. So that's twenty thousand gold. To spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Could do some lock picking skill training. Or some sneak skill training. I mean I got twenty thousand gold. I've been sitting on this twenty thousand gold for like, yeah, why not? Um There's nothing else I I can do with it. I've done all the power shopping I'm gonna do. Might as well. Pretty sure Delvin and Mallory can help us out. Um, first of all, Thief Stone. Nappy poo. The stone well rested bonus. Done and done. Let's go see our good friend Delvin Mallory. At the Thieves Guild. Tell them, my man, can you train me to sneak? Stick with me, and they'll never even know you're there. A 
and you're a master trainer. But I'm short of more doing more training. But we can just step outside here into the ratway. This is something I was doing with another build. This is an easy way to top off your sneak. Go in here. Sneak in here. And there's some skeevers in here typically three of them. Watch out for the trap. Okay, go in between like this. And slide over to the left wall here. There's three skeevers over there. Just slide back and forth a few times and you'll level up sneak. There we go. Mission accomplished. Okay, so we're gonna have to level up again before we can buy some more training. And I think I'm a little short on another round, maybe about uh, another thousand gold. Done and done. Do we have anything to sell? Let's go back home and regroup. It's a done deal. Honor to you. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. And let's put your archery gear back on. color coordination between the glass gauntlets and the shrouded boots the green glass gauntlets and the shrouded boots it sure looks really kick-ass <laughs> okay that's it thanks for watching and if you found this walkthrough helpful hey post a comment i'd love to hear from my target audience and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press all right see you next time Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.